The website is worldwalleye.com. It's the World Walleye Association, uh, the rebirth of a circuit that's going to be really exciting. They've got two tournament circuits running, uh, Wisconsin on uh, Winnicani and uh, the Fox Chain here in Illinois. Uh, championship event uh, in early 2014 to cap it off. Uh, it's going to be a great time, and we encourage everybody to check it out, worldwalleye.com. Uh, Teresa Mead, you're known for your fishing skills. You've been fishing professionally for a long time. Are you going to be fishing this or running this? Um, well, you know, I, I have fished for years and years and years, and last year I just really wanted to fish. You know, so as you were talking about, you know, my girlfriend, you know, that same thing happened to me. I, I had that desire, and I went back out, out into the chain, and, and, you know, I mean, I got beaten, 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 beaten. <laughs> you know, things changed, so... Uh, you know, as the year progressed, you know, I figured it out and, you know, got better. And it was a wonderful time. Um, but I think that this is, I really want to, you know, put all of my efforts into uh, the WWA and to get this up and running. You know, but, you know, I've got my sister and my niece and my brother that fish the WWA events. So that'll be great. And I'm sure you'll be, is, is that legal for you to give them tips? <laughs> Yes, it is. Okay, just making sure. I want to keep yeah. you honest here. Right. And, and Joe Barron, I know you love fishing, and I know you love running these things, and it's got to tear you apart to watch these other guys go out and come back with a you know a big live well full of uh, live well full of big walleyes, and, and you're sitting there bean counting and doing all the rest of those uh, those mundane chores. Yeah, you know it was tough with aim, and and uh, you know I always had uh, I did fish the WWA circuit, and uh, of course. You know, with now that I'm an owner, a part owner of the WWA, I'm not going to be fishing. Um, so I'm just going to have to try to find something else to fish. So, you know, maybe the MWC or, you know, I'll do something. I'm just not sure what it'll be, and it's not going to be the WWA because I'll be bean counting there and uh, trying to <laughs> put on a good event. Excellent. Yeah, we'll get that put on your business card. Joe Barron, Bean Counter, WWE. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. They, uh, I, you know, what? My, my only hope is that there's a lot of beans for you guys to count. Right. Right. Well, we appreciate that, and thank you. Well, you know, this is this is such an important thing, and it's the the, the chicken and the egg thing. You know, you've got to give big purses. You got to give, uh, uh, you know, a hundred percent payback. You know, you see tournaments advertise a hundred percent payback. Well, hundred percent payback when they have nine boats show up is next to nothing. So why bother? So you need a, a full. You need a, a you need a big uh, pot, and you need. To, to ensure that uh, pot, you need uh, the anglers there. You need a full roster of boats taken off uh, in the morning to make sure that that money's there. And you need the money to draw the full roster of the boats. And it's which one's going to come first. And hopefully this thing can get promoted so we don't even have those worries about it that we're, we're uh, nailing it right up to the limit. How many boats can you take? We, we set a limit of uh, 60 boats uh, per event for this season. Okay. And, uh, you know, we'll we'll revisit that uh, once we go, you know head into the 2014 season. Uh, you know, back uh, back when the World Wildlife Association bought the Illinois Circuit, which was, I believe, at the time the ch- uh, Chain Walleye Series. You know, there were 60 boats out here, 60 65 boats that competed out here, and and uh, of course that that kind of dwindled down. And, and uh, Teresa and I are, you know, again we're working hard to bring it back up to that point, and then we'll revisit it and. You know, it's all about it's all about providing the prize money and and uh, the promotion of the anglers that fish it. And uh, again, Teresa and I are working hard on on making that happen. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And and promotion of of the anglers. In all honesty, it, it uh, a lot of people tell you that's the hardest thing to do. But uh, I know where you guys' minds are coming from. And and I don't think it's going to be all that difficult because you're going to have good fishermen cashing the big checks. And people always want to hear about how they did it, what they can do to be better fishermen. And I know that, you know, shows like mine are always interested in talking to these people that do real well because not everybody's fishing a tournament. But when somebody goes out and wins a WWA on the chain, that's water that anybody can go fish on a Saturday uh, or, you know, bring your boat, rent a boat, do whatever. And hear how these guys caught these walleyes is what people are interested in doing. So I think that that's going to be uh an easy step for you is promoting that, and once this thing gets off and going, you'll you'll be doing just fine uh, as far as far as that goes. You know, it, if if you guys do it right, you put the energy in, you think it through, uh, and you don't do any, you know, you don't do anything that's going to make you take a step backwards. 
uh, you'll be fine. Baby steps. I love the 60 boats. You know, uh, I don't know what the, the limit is on the chain for what they would let you have. I'm sure they would let you have a tournament with 100 boats. But uh, why would you say that? I'd rather go with the 60, stick with it. And if you've got, uh, uh, if you're turning people down, so be it. You turn them down and say, come back next year. Don't go back on your word. Uh, set goals that you can attain. And uh, let's, let's, uh, let's reach those goals, have successes, and move forward from that. That's the way I'd be looking at this. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And that's, you know, true. Along the conversation that Teresa and I have, I have had, uh, you know, regarding this, and baby steps is correct. And uh, you know, uh, what's really encouraging is that is that we, have, as Teresa mentioned earlier, is that we're getting people reach out from us from other states that that want us to come back, that that fish to WWA as well. So, um, again, you know, we just are biting off uh, the addition of Wisconsin and and an improvement on our Illinois circuit this year. Those are those are our baby steps for 2013, and and. Uh, you know, again, we're going to grow into uh, into you know some other areas and a couple other circuits uh, in 2014. You guys are young. You've got time to make it happen. You know. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> young. <laughs> you're going to argue with me about that? Huh? that yeah. you're not young. Yeah. No, no, you're all right. Okay. I'm no, young. no, you 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 get you guys you guys are young. This thing doesn't have to be a national circuit uh, next right. next week. And you know. It's so smart. When I look at, like, the Angler's Choice and Angler's Dream, which do kind of the same concept in bass, uh, they've had a local – they've had regionals that have gone out of business, come back, uh, gone under one ownership and come back. I, I would rather grow slowly, add one, and look at that as a permanent addition and work on that to be a permanent addition right. than to say, well, let's have 15 of them, and if 10 of them, 10 of them make it, we're doing good. No, you're not doing good. You know, you're a, you're a failure on five of them. Let's be a let's be a, a a winner on all that we try, and, and I'm so excited about this WWA and moving forward. And I really mean it about anybody joining. Uh, you know, I've, I've co-angled my share of uh, professional tournaments, and you go there, and, and it's a. Uh, uh, it's a little intimidating when you when you go to the meeting and you see the uh, the Keith Caviases and Doc Sampsons, you know, and my girlfriend sitting there and go, oh my gosh, what am I, you know, what am I doing here, or, or, or getting in a boat with those guys? Now you're in your own boat and you're moving and you're fishing against those guys. Don't be intimidated. You know, if if you're thinking of joining this, that should be the last consideration. If you can afford the 180 bucks, you know how to catch walleyes, go do it. Right. Absolutely. You know, I can speak from my experience. It's a, it's a big learning experience. You'll become a better fisherman just from fishing the tournament, no doubt about it, from being on the water with all these, well, all these guys and, and uh, keeping your eyes open and seeing what they're doing and, and, where, they're, and where they're at. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a huge learning experience. And the chain has, you know, for any of the local guys that are listening that want to learn how to fish walleyes on the chain, come out and see the tournaments and get on the water while these tournaments are going on, and, and you're going to learn a ton and, and, and just see what this, uh, what this body of water has to offer for walleye fishing. It's, it's amazing. You guys are doing it the right way. You've got the first tournaments April 7th. You've got April, June, and then uh, back again September and October. You're off the, the hot wa- water bites when the fish are not real aggressive and mm-hmm. when they are not easy to release because of the water temperatures. Uh, personally, uh, I, you know, I know I've caught uh, uh, good walleye every month of the year on the chain, but you guys are doing it the right way. Teresa, one thing, I, you know, I know your background, I know you're very, very uh, oriented to education. Mm-hmm. You're, you're having a woman's uh, walleye weekend up on Winnicani, and you are doing a WWA youth fishing event in August on the chain. Those are both very exciting that you are doing. Yeah, I'm doing. The, we're doing the one on the chain, and we're also we have one scheduled um, for August 4th up on Winnicani. You know, because for this is for the WWA members and uh, their children, and it's a, an all-around good family day. And there's nothing like seeing a child getting out there and catching their first fish. And we make it like a little mini tournament. They go out in boats. You know, they get their awards and their prizes. They get up on stage. You know, we measure their fish and we take a picture of them, um, and we give them their, their, their trophy at the end. So, I mean, that that is a really special thing that we offer, you know, not only for our WWA people, but for anybody that has kids that wants to get them into fishing. Now, the women's event has just taken off. You know, I, I, I wanted this. I've been talking about it for years, and I finally joined up with the uh, Wisconsin Women Fish 
club um, and Barb Carey up there, she, you know, had also the desire to have something like this go and it's just i'm getting calls from everywhere i've been on the phone you know just you know talking to sponsors and you know setting up this event we've got a a great schedule hang hang on one second teresa i'm I'm Uh cutting you off i'm up against the clock here i wish we had more time to talk about it we'll talk about it again before april 7th the first event we'll have the winner on sunday april the 14th it's the world walleye association go to worldwalleye.com and sign up